I just want to say, uh, Helen Becerra will be here when they open that time capsule down yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be representing Richmond down there. Yeah. Well, I might be the in for the Historical Society to get City Hall. And I have preached, I preached, you need, to do, you need to do what you need to do to preserve that building. Okay. Sorry. I've been mayor in Richmond since 2005, uh, considered not running this time around, and have changed my mind, and I'm on the ballot, so... I'm the only one on the ballot, so I'm not really campaigning. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I just hope to get one vote, I guess. Uh, but I, when I started as mayor, we sat down with the chamber and developed a strategic plan. And I think it was one of the, one of the really good things that we did. And we had a lot of help from the Wayne Economic Development Council. Sean Starlin is here representing the WEDC. Uh, Rod Kreider came and facilitated meetings like this where we brought community people in and talked about what do you want to do? You know, Derek is going to get a whole lot of individual need to do this, need to do that, need, but, but what, is, what does the community want, as he said? What's good for the whole community? A lot of people have individual requests and all that, but what do we want as a global, what kind of strategic things do we want to achieve? Back then we talked about getting the schools stabilized, improving our community perception, uh, develop a model and a logo and new signs and welcome to Ritman signs. And, and those things, you know, we've done a pretty great job with Doug Stewart's here representing the Board of Education. And I mean, the schools are extremely stable in, you know, working in conjunction with Waynedale and Oroville and other districts and the, the county board and all that. So we feel real good about that. You know, our signs are a nice entrance to the city, kind of creating that first look of something fresh. You know, I don't know if you remember the old signs. It probably said, welcome to Ritman, but the post was probably crooked and rusted and just said welcome or whatever, you know. So... But those little kind of things just start improving the whole perception of the city and maybe the feelings of the people that live within the city. So, and we, we continue to try to work on people not saying, well, you know, it, it's just Ritman. You know, that, cause that was what we kind of, where we kind of were at that time. You know, why, why is the downtown the way it is? Well, you know, it's just <clears throat> Ritman again. So we were trying to change that to say, what are, highlight what are the good things about Ritman? What are we known for? What, you know, like you're talking about, the positive things. That, that's the things that need to bubble to the top. It's really easy to come up with negative things. But let's work on those kind of things. So that was all part of that strategic plan. Uh, working on our relationship with existing businesses. I don't know if we've done a great job with that. We started out a little bit of that. But we need to have a closer relationship with the businesses that do exist. You know, yeah, great to bring in new business, but boy, you don't want to be losing existing ones. Um, create consistent and reliable forms of communication. If anybody ever figures out what that is, you can become a multi-billionaire to figure out how to communicate with however many people live in your city. Uh, for a long time, I wrote those articles in the Trading Post. I kind of wound down on it when I think, thought I wasn't going to run for mayor. I thought I'd make it easy for the next person so that they didn't have to do that. So I might try to start them up again since I'm going to run again and have, have a way to communicate with people. It's, it's not, it doesn't get to everybody. It's not the silver bullet, but I think it does help that it's in a free newspaper and and it's out there every week. Um, so, you know, we wanted to focus on what makes Ritman unique, and I guess that's the challenge to this group, too. What, what are the things here in Ritman that we can grasp onto? You know, we have, we have Morton Salt, we have Bauman Orchard, we have the Western Reserve Cemetery. I mean, you know, what are there, two of those in the state? Uh, you know, huge resource. You know, you don't want to mark it off of a cemetery, but there has to be things. Uh, a uh, big issue for me that I'm going to take on is the rails to trails. Uh, towns that exist along a formal rail trail become known as trail towns. And, and they do economic development around being a trail town. You have industry develop around that or businesses that spin off of that that can do things. And, you know, maybe the chiropractor can straighten out uh, somebody that's having trouble riding a bike, you know, that breaks down, so, uh, whatever. You know, and, and somehow get signage to direct people into town to come to Burt's to get an ice cream cone. Now, it's not that long of a ride down Main Street or go to Bee Gees to get a burger on a Saturday afternoon. But need a little signage, uh, maybe a bike lane to get people down there, maybe better sidewalks. I, I don't know what it is, but we're gonna, I, that's what I'm going to take on is trying to work on making Ritman more of a trail town and get people off of the trail and visit our historic sites. Ride their bikes to visit Bauman Orchard. Now, I don't like the thought of riding all the way up the hill to visit Bauman's. <laughs> but there's a lot of bikers, and that's no big deal to them. That, that's part of the ride. 
or go out to Nup Church, or visit the Pioneer Cemetery, or the or the, the home out the Pioneer Home. I mean, you know, we have great places here that we need to get people to see to go. Well, hey, you know, that Ridley's kind of a cool town. You know, it's got something going. That you just need that perception. We as residents need to have that perception. Hey, we're pretty proud of what we've got. And then, then we got to convince other people that what we've got is pretty good. So that's uh, that's one of the issues that I'm going to take on going forward over the next four years. So.